Welcome back to the special edition of Hannity, President Trump versus the resistance. Well, the media is freaking out over the president's recent jabs at CNN, but should they really be throwing stones from their incredibly fragile glass house? Well, earlier today, Donald Trump Jr. called out CNN on Twitter, writing, quote, CNN and Dems calling Trump assassination play artistic expression, but WWF joke meme is a call for violence hilarious reinforcement of FNN. Well, joining me now with more on the media's glaring double standard is Fox News contributor DeRoy Murdoch, legal analyst and former prosecutor Lionel, and columnist for The Hill, Kristen Tate. Thank you all for being here with me tonight. A uh, lot of uh, new developments here. Thanks for here. having you, us. All right, well, you have the, the tweet from Don Jr., and you have the meme that was out this weekend. And DeRoy, I'll begin with you. Um, it seems to me, and I think the polling and the analysis of this will back it up, that this president has received more unfair, like negative coverage, uh, you know, than any other president. Yeah, I think it's something like 93% of mm -hmm. the coverage at uh, CNN is negative. Uh, that's nowhere near fair, fair and balanced at all. And it's been relentless. I mean, it's been from uh, when he was elected, even before he was elected, it goes on and on. But well beyond uh, CNN, you've had Madonna saying that she dreams about blowing up the White House. Right. Uh, Snoop Dogg did a video where he uh, uh, pulled the trigger on a revolver at this uh, uh, clown that was dressed up to look like Donald Trump. Obviously, Kathy uh, Griffin holding up that uh, chopped off head of Donald Trump. I mean, I call this assassination chic. And it's not just being done by uh, odd people out there in the hinterland. This is done by people who are uh, artists, people who sell platinum records. These are people who've uh, been in some of the biggest movies and entertainment vehicles in our country. And that sort of thing is appalling. And I think, unfortunately, it leads to people pulling the trigger like we saw out in Arlington, Virginia a few weeks ago. All right, Lionel, can we distinguish between, say, for example, the president doing this uh, meme based on wrestling, et cetera, making kind of, you know, a joke about it over the weekend, uh, and then something like the actor, like Johnny Depp, saying that uh, it's time for another actor to kill a president, some of these other things that Roy mentioned, like Kathy Griffin and holding up the severed head, pretending she's a, you know, jihadi John ISIS guy. To answer your question, yes, <laughs> Donald Trump <laughs> is a genius. He plays the media like a little cat with a flashlight. No matter what he does, they run. Whether it's what's her name with the bleeding, they're over here. Every right. week, he plays them. And the American public realizes that these people are imploding. And he's mocked them. And he told them from the very first, he says, I don't need you. I'm going to tweet to the American people. They're going nuts. I want more of this. The American people, Main Street, the heartland, love this. They love it. This is a new era. <laughs> Bring it on. He is laughing himself mm -hmm. silly. He's a genius. Yeah, he thinks it's funny. He's also he's also not sorry, Kristen. I mean, he really isn't, you know, uh, when these <laughs> tweets went out. Out, even the one about Mika. Is it was anybody <laughs> talking about, you know, health care? No. Anybody talking about North Korea right now? No, because they were focused on that. <laughs> and then he doubled down on it, I guess, you know, with the video. You have a problem with the video at all? What did you think? Did you think it was a joke or that it was like uh, really tantamount to calling out, you know, violence against uh, members of the media? I mean, it was obviously a joke. This is just more selective outrage from the left. The liberal media loves to call for civility and unity, but they only do that when they can use the sound bites to silence conservatives. Then they turn around and they use divisive rhetoric and violence inciting rhetoric all the time. I mean, where was the outrage again when uh, Kathy Griffin held up Donald Trump's severed head? The right. hypocrisy is flagrant. And the left loves saying that Donald Trump's tweets aren't presidential. They're right. It's not presidential. Presidential, but that's why people voted for Trump. This is no ordinary president. People yeah. wanted a fighter, someone who wouldn't be able be afraid to go to Washington, D.C., flip over the table, and uh, stick it to the media that that middle America has come to really despise. Yeah, well, it's unbelievable. I mean, Jerome, he did this following, you know, CNN having to fire um, three reporters for a story that was completely false, and so they really got called out on that, but nevertheless, they're upset about the meme. Are, is the media in general and the kind of the liberal mainstream media being too sensitive, too <laughs> snowflakey? I mean, they just seem so squishy these days. Well, I don't know what happened, like very amoeba-like, no backbone. It's very funny. They'll say, well, you know, when Trump does this sort of thing, he distracts from his message. The way that they allow that to happen is they focus on that rather than policy. For example, uh, Media Research Center did a, a, took a look at the uh, signature ceremony for this uh, policy for the VA to sh have more accountability. Yes. Firing competent, corrupt people at the uh, at the uh, Veterans Administration. Uh, they NBC and ABC didn't bother to cover that. So they say that this is a distraction, but then why don't they, when this isn't happening, actually focus on public policy? 
Yeah, I know that's the problem. They don't want to cover any of the important legislative efforts, policy positions. They don't want to cover any of the job numbers that are good, the 401k numbers that are good, because they don't want to seem to give him any credit. I feel that they're very jealous, Lionel. They're Not very jealous that. of him, it seems. You know, Tolstoy <laughs> said history will be a wonderful thing if only were true. Mm -hmm. In 1950, <laughs> in 1950, Harry Truman, when he heard about a bad review that Margaret got mm -hmm. from a fellow named Hume in the Washington Post, he wrote him a letter on Washington, on White House stage that said, when I meet you, I'm going to break your nose, you're going to need two beefsteaks for eyes, and a supporter. I don't have to go through the litany of what he was. This was violent. Sign HST. Right. We loved it. Give him hell, Harry. <laughs> and Trump <laughs> with a little tweet. This yeah. is nothing. What is the matter with us? He's yeah. a genius. Yeah. I don't know how to make it any clearer. He's laughing. Why are we even talking oh, about yeah, it? Lionel's going to do the wave yeah. here in a minute. He's By like myself. So excited. He's going to do the wave. He's like so excited. The Trump wave. Um, all right. So, Chris, what do you think, though? I mean, have people had a little bit of time to have some perspective, you know, about about this. I mean, I tend to agree with um, Don Jr. who is saying this is unbelievable. These people can't take a joke. This was like a wrestling meme, <laughs> yet they want to feel like it's some kind of like quote unquote equivalent of ISIS recruitment video, you know, craziness. Yeah, I totally agree, Kimberly. I mean, everyone knows the media is humorless, but you know what? All of this outrage from the media is going to do little to actually influence what the American people think. You know, these outlets like the New York Times, CNN, and the Washington Post have become so flagrant in their yep. bias that they've lost all credibility. I mean, the only people who read and watch these outlets are the very far left. These journalists have made themselves completely irrelevant. Yeah, and Jamar, have you noticed the number of retractions that have had to be issued and how about the national um security agency 17 intelligence oh, agencies <laughs> oh i'm so sorry Oops. i'm really yeah, bad at math yeah, let me yeah. use my fingers again to count the yeah. active associated press new york times that's washington right. post all of them yeah and, and, oops it's not 17 oh, it's or 16 joke. or 15 yeah. it's four grand total of four and by the way also referring to that uh, our, our former paper record uh, uh, over on 8th Avenue. Yeah. They actually actually sponsored that uh, Shakespeare in the Park where a Donald Trump-like Julius Caesar was stabbed to death at the end. So they actually sponsored that thing. So how, how, about, how about, about that? that? How yeah. about that? How about yeah. them apples? Okay, mm -hmm. all right, you guys are fantastic, so don't move. Because coming up, we got more with our panel. Nine Republican senators oppose the current bill